Sew Me Sunshine YouTube channel. It's Celia this week, standing in for Harriet. I'm in the studio today with Jenny and Mitzi. Jenny's behind the camera and Mitzi is packing all of your orders, so if you hear a bit of rustling, it's that. This week we are talking about dead stocks. We've got a new dead stock collection that is dropping this week. And um, dead stocks, if you don't know, are fabrics that are from high-end uh, designers. We get them from Italy, so you'll be, you might even recognise some of them, um, some of the fabrics that we'll be showing you today, and you might even be able to find them made up into clothes online. We can't say where they're from, but you can guess with a bit of digging. So um, let's get on with it. The first fabric I'm going to show you today is a viscose twill. I would say that the twill is very pronounced, um, which you might be able to see on the back of the fabric. So you can see that the, the, it has those kind of classic diagonal lines running across it, which um, of the twill weave. But it's kind of like a jacquard twill, so um, it's a really beautiful um, viscose, and it's got a really lovely drape. It's quite a sort of medium weight viscose. It's got really good opacity, and it's covered in this beautiful pattern, which is um, I think I think they're like seed pods, but I think they're dandelions. I had a big debate with someone about this yesterday and um, what we reckoned they were, but I think they are dandelion clocks um, in a kind of rust and a cream and a sort of um, gray purple color. It's really, really lovely. And as I said, it's got really good opacity and weight to it. This week we got in some new named patterns, one of which is this pattern. It's a dress and a blouse. It's called, I'm gonna get this wrong and I'm really, really sorry to named and everyone out there really, but it's either called the Silly or the Silly. We're not sure, we will find out. Um, but it's a really lovely kind of smock dress pattern with pleats and um, big sleeves and it's just a really nice um, kind of basic dress, dress which would we thought would really accentuate this pattern. Next up, we have a cotton poplin. This is a French cotton poplin. Even though we got it from Italy, it is a French cotton. And it is a floral print. It's got a kind of very small, ditzy floral in sort of a hot pink, orange, white, little bits of yellow, and then the stems on the flowers are a light gray color. Um, it's a really lovely weight of um, fabric, and it just lends itself to so many different projects. Um, we thought it's on a and it's on a black background. Not forgetting that. We thought it'd be really nice to make a shirt out of this because it is a kind of shirting weight. And the pattern that Jenny has picked out because she's just purchased this pattern and so she wanted to talk about it um, is the Vernon shirt from Cashmerette. Um, it's got some really nice details. You can make either just the classic shirt or they've got um, a version of it which has a slightly longer collar and also a lantern sleeve. So it's like got some really nice. Um, details which would lend themselves really lend itself really well to this fabric. Next up we have a viscose crepe. It is a really lovely viscose crepe. As you can see it is covered in this amazing patchwork of arts and crafts style flowers on these um, purple, teal, grey, it's got some mustard in there. It's really lovely. It's all sorts of different flowers. So as you can see, it's got, and it's got these kind of like classic little um, motify style leaves as well. Um, we really love this fabric. It's a viscose crepe, so it does have, um, it's pretty, sh it's not very sheer, but it is a bit sheer. So bear that in mind when you're thinking about what you might want to make with it. Um, so you might want to line it, but it's got a really, really lovely drape, as you expect from a viscose crepe. It is directional. So the pattern that we thought would go really nicely with this fabric is the Rita shirt dress, which is another um, one of our favorites. It's a named pattern. It's a really nice sort of classic shirt dress. You can layer it up for the autumn, although it's still kind of warm in London at the moment. Um, despite the fact that I'm wearing an enormous cardigan. Um, but it's just a really nice, um, simple shirt dress that would show off this amazing fabric. The next fabric I'm gonna show you today is another viscose crepe. It's a really lovely um, me light to medium weight crepe um, in this really fab um, pattern, which we think either looks like a kind of modern stained glass window, um, or it looks like kind of floral camouflage. No, well, I don't know where you might be hiding wearing this, but nevertheless, looks like, has that kind of vibe. Um, but it's in this really beautiful shades of green, navy blue, um, a sort of magenta pink, 
and an off-white and then everything's outlined in black it's a really beautiful fabric it's got a lovely drape as i said before it's got pretty good opacity um considering it's got some um quite pale bits a really nice pattern to show off this fabric it would be the wilder gown which is another fa firm fave here in the studio um, it's a really nice pattern by Friday Pattern, pattern Company and it's got lots of different options um, and with long sleeves, short sleeves, long dress, short dress um, so you can make it to your specification. The next dead stock we're going to show you today is a stretch viscose crepe. It's got a really fab fun pattern and it's quite an unusual fabric. Um, it's printed in panels which are 160 centimeters by about 65, that's an approximate measurement. Um, and it has a lot going on, which is really fun. So we've got a floral sort of panel bit across the top, which has big flowers in um, a kind of lilac-y pink, off-white and orange. And then we have a stripe of polka dots. And then we have a bit of writing which said, charms and jewels of spring, repeated over and over again in a kind of scripty font. Then we go down into a sort of buff coloured area with some red flowers and some red stripes and then we're back into the big floral part again. As I said it is in panels, you can see the panels are separated by a slight white line but I think that could be incorporated into whatever you're making. It's a really really nice fabric and it's a really nice weight as well. Um, it's got a bit of stretch as I said, the stretch is crosswise, it's about a 20% stretch I would say, 20-30%. to 30%. Um, and it's just it's just such a nice fabric we love it the pattern that we thought would go really well with this is the the cello top from closet core it's a really nice sort of simple top you can have a gathered sleeve a big lantern sleeve as well um, and we just thought it would lend itself to the panels so we think this this pattern would be really great so you could show off um, this design without breaking it up too much we have another fabric here which has a kind of arts and crafts vibe, William Morris-esque um, vibe, and it is another viscose crepe, and it's this really beautiful floral pattern, um, which has the little twiddly leaf motifs, then it has um, some flowers and um, some buds, and I think they might be berries. It's just a really beautiful fabric, and it's, it's all in shades of greens and blues on a kind of, it's like off-white to pale green background. Um, because of this fabric being floral inspired, we went for the Nina Lee Q dress, because obviously there's um, gardens at Q, the Q, Q Botanical Gardens. So we thought it'd be really nice to make a tea dress in this fabric. It would lend itself so well to that. Um, and you could also, if you, it, it, I mean, it is a little bit sheer because it's on a pale background, um, but, we think it should be all right for a tea dress, but you can wear a slip underneath it. Or, as Jenny suggested, you could make the strappy version and wear a bodysuit or a roll neck or something like that underneath. The next fabric I'm gonna show you today is another viscose crepe, this time on a black background. It's very similar to a um, crepe, was it a crepe that we had last time? A crepe that we had last time where Jenny made a pair of ninny culottes um, and it was called Fern, I think and it had the same sort of botanical vibe to it. This time we've got um, really, really sweet little um, illustrations of wildflowers um, in yellows and purples, and then the leaves are green. And it's just a really, really beautiful, lovely print. Um, it's quite similar to things like Rifle, Rifle Paper Company and um, See You at Six, that sort of thing. It's got that kind of vibe. We really love it and so we thought we would pair it once again with the Ninny Colots from Named. We've got quite a few Named patterns today, um, but that's because we love them. And inspired by Jenny's um, make of the um, Ninny Colots, which we shall put a picture in somewhere around here, probably. Hopefully. Are you going to do that? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> She'll put a picture in somewhere around here um, and we just thought it'd be really nice to make a pair of autumnal um, culottes in this because of the colours. The next fabric I'm going to show you is another viscose crepe. It's a really lovely um, fabric that I think gives uh, a kind of end of summer, beginning of autumn feel. It's got these really beautiful muted autumnal colours, it's little um, floral 
they're kind of like little bouquets, little setups. They've got strawberries, some, um, I think they're anemones, not sure though, might be wrong on that, um, and some other little bits and pieces going on. And it also features little bees. So if you can see, let me find a bee some little bees as well which are flying around the flowers so it's really really sweet fabric it has a black background it is printed on white as per usual we do recommend if it's um, if it is a fabric that is printed on a lighter colour use a microtex needle so it stops it from the the threads from pulling and you don't get those tiny little white lines um, that's a recommendation from us um, but yeah we love this fabric it's just a really nice weight it's got pretty good opacity because it's um, a darker background and the pattern that we are going to pair with it today is one of our new Stylark patterns these patterns are really nice I really love Stylark I wear the bob pants a lot but the pattern this um, today I'm going to show you is the Hope woven dress it's a really simple smock dress and it's got a lovely raglan sleeve detail um, with a gathered cuff and we just thought it'd be really nice to wear. You could layer it up as per usual, big cardigans, boots, lots of things like that, and it would look really nice. Our penultimate fabric for today is a viscose poplin. It has this really gorgeous holiday scene, which has mountains, flowers, trees, little houses, and also a little person on a bicycle who looks like they're having their photo taken. It's a really, really nice weight fabric. It's incredibly soft. Um, as you can see, it's on a, it's got a black background, so the opacity is actually really good um, on this fabric, and um, the drape is also really nice. It's a kind of light to medium weight poplin. So the pattern that we have chosen to go with this fabric um, is the lowest dress from Tasuti Patterns. We started stocking Tasuti Patterns in the studio, and we're really excited about that. So um, have a look at the rest of the patterns that we have. The lowest dress is an intermediate level um, vintage inspired v-neck dress and we just thought it would lend itself really well to um, this fabric. Our final fabric today is a viscose poplin. It's a really nice um, design filled with lots of really lovely features. As you can see it is a kind of muted blush colour and then on top of that is a design that's made out of a lattice of branches in a sort of diamond shape and then in each diamond are different objects and so we've got vases we've got fl a floral posy we've got teapots and then also and this is my favorite feature we've got a french bulldog sitting here a sheep dog and then a kind of beagle standing down here. We've also got some little drawings of birds and some more flowers. So it's a really, really nice design this, and we think it would lend itself really well to the Ashling blouse and dress from Papercut. So we now stock some of the Papercut patterns in kid sizes as well. So you can make matching for um, adults and kids, and we just thought this would be really nice because you could show off um, the diamond pattern and all the little features um, down the dress. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video and our new collection of dead stock. I just wanted to take you through some other things that we've got on the website this week, which are we're now selling some really good sewing essential haberdashery bits, including things like a sleeve pressing roll. So we've got these and we've also got the um, more traditional kind of uh, Taylor's hams as well so we've got those and we've also got wonder clips which I really love they're really good so if you use um, say a hot hemmer and you're using it on a lighter weight fabric as you hot hem as you iron along you can then clip it into place using the wonder clips so I have a jar of these on my sewing table and I find them really useful We've also got, and now I'm really excited about one of these, is a um, an expandable sewing gauge, which you can use for measuring things like buttons, buttonholes, hooks and eyes, but also pleats and tucks and things like that. So what it does, if you don't know what it is, is it expands like this, and it means that you've got an even space between all of your buttons, so you don't have to try and work it out with a ruler, because my buttonholes are always uneven. And then you can then see where the buttons are. So it's really good and it's a really useful little tool. So we're selling, so head over to the haberdashery section of our website where you'll find all of these new bits and pieces. We've got stuff from Hemline, we've got bits from Clover, and we've also got bits from So Easy um, amongst other 
So um, just some little sewing essentials there if you, if you are in need of them. They're also really good for Christmas, so if you're thinking ahead. Um, but as I said, I hope you enjoyed our video this week. Like and subscribe as per usual. Get in touch with us on social media. We love seeing everything that you're making. Use the hashtag sewing sunshine and we will be back with another video next week. <laughs>